What's up Hoopers, it's your boy Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over simple but deadly easy moves to beat your defender. Let's get started. Alright guys, well like I said, we're gonna go over simple and deadly scoring moves to help you beat your defender. They're easy though, right? They're very simple, very easy moves to help beat your defender to lead to scoring more points. So we're gonna go over the jab series today. We're gonna go over about four different types of jabs that you can use to beat your defender before you even put the ball on the floor. The first one, this most simple one, the jab, okay? So what we're gonna do, I got Buddy out here as my defender. Now the jab step can be used to number one, obviously to create space, you know, to get your defender to back up just a little bit. And this could be used to go into a jab, into a jumper. We could jab and go, right? Or we could go to jab, come back, and then a jab and go. Okay, so I just did three different ones just off of the jab step. So I can jab, shot. I could jab, now I'm not even gonna bring this foot back, I'm gonna jab and then just burst off right off of that. Or I can go jab, come back, and then go to a pull up jump up, okay? So there's three different ways right there. You can choose whichever one you wanna work on off of that. I would say work on all three, all right? But this is just off of the jab step. Again, we're trying to create space. We're trying to force this defender to back up and honor our ability to put the ball on the floor and to drive by. Okay, so we want to use that jab. Now when we jab, we don't want to jab out to the side. Okay, we don't want to jab backwards. We want to jab here. We want to jab in front where that defender has to back up. Now when I jab, right, so when I jab, I don't want to jab and come back here to try to go. Because when I bring that leg back, the defender can come back up into me. I want to jab, I come right back to where I started, and then I go to be quicker. All right, so I'm gonna show you the first series, the jab step, here it is in full speed. All right, the next jab that we're gonna use in the jab series is the cross step. All right, so with the cross step, again, we could cross, come back into a jumper, because with the cross step, when I cross, the defender's gonna slide with me. Then I come back, right, so I could cross step, I could come back into my shot, I could cross step and rip baseline, or I could cross step, tap, and go, right? Which is one I like to use more because when I'm here, I set them up, one, come back and then I go right by him. So it's almost like the jab and go, but it's a cross step and go. So if I'm here, boom, and I'm out, right? So it's a tap and go. One last time, I'll show you. We're here, we cross, tap, right? Just to get our footwork right. We're here, cross, one, go, right? Tap, go, off the cross. So I'll show you that one where we tap and go, and I'll show you where we set him up with the cross step and we rip back towards the baseline to get our jumper. All right, so this is the second part of the series. This is the cross step. Check it out in full speed. I know it's lonely at the tail, but that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, but too hard to drop. All right, Hoopers, well, we're gonna move on to the next one and we're gonna go over the rocker step. Okay, this is the rocker step now. All right, so with this one, it's a tap tap. So when I jab, it's boom, boom. So it's one, two, okay? One, two, and then I'm going. At the same time as that though, I gotta move the defender with the ball. So it's tap tap and I'm moving the ball as well boom, boom, and I'm out, okay? So if I'm looking at you with it, I'm here, I'm uh, uh, and I'm going, right? So I'm uh, uh, putting the ball out and I can get to the basket or 
I can get to a pull-up jump shot, right? So I get that swing pass, here we go. Ooh, and I'm out, I'm past the defender. There's no way. I'm shifting my momentum, I'm shifting the, my, the ball. This is moving the defender at the same time, keeping them off balance because I can go boom, boom, and come back this way, or I can just explode by them, right? But that ball movement and that tap of the foot is keeping them off balance, helping you create the advantage you're looking for. This is the third one in the jab series, the rocker step. Here it is in full speed. All right, the last one we're going to do is a spin off of our jab. So we're going to actually go into a cross step and spin off of it. So we're going to cross step, spin, okay? So with this, you got to take your time. When you practice it, go step by step. When you cross here, you get the defender to lean. Now, instead of using that rip where we come back this way, we're just going to go from here. Now, when you stay, when you spin, you got to stay low. You're here. Boom. Now, when we spin, we're here. So we can continue straight towards the basket. So I'm here. Oops. Got you, buddy. Good job. I'm here. I cross. I spin. And I go. And there's a couple of things I can do off of this. When I, jet, when I cross step and I spin, I can just swing it back right here into my jumper. So you'll see that one in full speed. Okay, because what that does, it's almost like a step back. You're here, swing it, pull it back, jumper. You're keeping that, that pivot foot stationary on the ground. And obviously we can go here, spin, and get to the basket. All right, this is probably the hardest one to execute of the four, but it's effective, it's a great move, it looks nice as well and it's gonna help you score more points. Here it is, a spin off the cross step in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. A jab series is simple but deadly and it's gonna lead you to scoring more points. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, click the comment button where you can leave a comment, let us know what you think, any suggestions that you may have for videos down the road in the future. Most importantly, click that subscribe button. Join Think Pro Basketball where you're getting professional level training that's easy to follow and that's gonna deliver you in-game results. I'm sure that's what you're looking for. You want this all to translate into in-game situations. So make sure you head over to the channel, check out all the great content we have for you that's designed for you to take your game to the next level. Now, until I see you again next time, get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, work on your jab series because it can be deadly even though it's simple. Now, until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.